the larynx the sound box or voice box it can produce sound it can produce voice by vibration of its ligaments but independently it can't produce the words so the larynx is situated in the median plane of the nag between the great vessels behind the skin fascia and infra hyoid muscles so larynx is the sound box and it is made up of the cartilages connected by ligaments membranes the fibrous membranes and moving by the muscles so larynx larynx the meaning of larynx is upper windpipe it is part of the lower respiratory tract so larynx is a passage two way passage and it acts as passage for the air during inspiration as well as expiration and it remains open it remains open for inspiration and expiration unlike the esophagus which opens during only swallowing so it is the passage way for respiration and it is forming the part of lower respiratory tract the upper respiratory tract is having nodes the nasopharynx and the oropharynx so it is passage way for the air during inspiration and expiration and it also acts as watch dog for the foreign particles which are entering in the nose or mouth with the food or respiration it protects the entry of foreign body in the respiratory tract by its watch dog action so it is passage way for air and it is also act as sound production sound production or production of the voice it can produce <coughs> the sound or voice <coughs> but independently it can't produce the words the vowels a e i o u are producing by the larynx <coughs> while consonants are produced by the help of the lips cheeks and the pharynx and palate also so sound production is done by the larynx so where the exact location of the larynx
So this is the location of the mandible. and the hyoid bone. In adults, the larynx is larger in male. So males are having low pitched loud voice. Females are having small larynx and high pitched voice. So measurements of larynx vertically in male it is 44 millimeter and females are having 36 millimeter. Transversely males are having 43 millimeter and females are having 36 41 millimeter and anterior posteriorly males are 36 while females are 26 millimeters so extending from the base of the tongue from the base of the tongue to the trachea so extent of the larynx from tongue to trachea it begins from the base of the tongue and ends it the upper part of the trachea when we talk about the vertebral levels of the larynx it is from the third, the fourth, the fifth and the sixth cervical vertebrae in adult male. So C3, C4, C5 and C6. So C3 is the level of the hyoid bone. C3 and C4 junction is the upper margin of the thyroid cartilage and it is also level of bifurcation of the common carotid artery in external and internal carotid arteries. So junction of the C3 and C4 is the level of the upper margin of the thyroid cartilage. Also junction is the level of the bifurcation of the common carotid artery. C4 and C5 is the level of the thyroid cartilage and C6 is the level of the cricoid cartilage. What is thyroid cartilage? What is epiglottis? And what is cricoid? We will talk in detail in this lecture of the larynx. So larynx is extending from C3 up to C6 or in simple words from the tongue to the trachea and situated between the great vessels of the neck between the great vessels that is the internal jugular vein the common and internal carotid artery the vagus nerve which are enclosed in a sheet the carotid sheet behind the skin the fascia and infrahyoid muscles the infrahyoid muscles are the sternohyoid sternothyroid 
superior belly of the omohyoid. So larynx is situated behind these muscles. The in the children of 6 to 12 months, the uppermost part of the larynx, that is the apiglottis, is somewhat above the level of the junction of the body and dance of the axis vertebrae. So upper margin of the larynx that is epiglottis is somewhat above the level of the junction of the dance process and body of this second cervical vertebra that is the axis vertebra. So larynx is sound box producing sound and provides passageway for the respiration and extending from the 3 to 6th cervical vertebrae in from front. This is the neck. the common carotid artery, internal and external carotid artery and the jugular vein. So between the This is the exact location of the larynx between the great vessels of the neck, behind the skin, the fascia, and the infrahyoid muscle. How the larynx is formed? Larynx is formed mainly by it is having its own framework of cartilages known as skeleton of the larynx. So it is having some paired and some unpaired cartilages, having some paired cartilages and some unpaired cartilages. So first we will see the unpaired cartilages of the larynx. Unpaired cartilages of the larynx. There are three unpaired cartilages in the larynx. The epiglottis, also known as epiglottic cartilage. The epiglottis. So it is epiglottis, above the glottis. What is glottis? I will talk later. The thyroid. The thyroid cartilage. A gland, gland situated on the thyroid cartilage and named as thyroid gland. So it is a big unpaired cartilage. The cricoid. Cricoid cartilage, it is a ring-like, signet ring-like. While the thyroid is shield-like, so named as thyroid, shield-like. 
and epiglottis is leaf like i will talk in detail about these all cartilages one by one but first the names these are unpaired now the paired cartilages are the arytenoid cartilage the cuneiform the cuneiform the corniculate and the fourth pair is triteate cartilage triteate so all together 8 9 10 and 11 cartilages are seen in the cartilaginous skeleton of the larynx four are paired three are unpaired <coughs> these cartilages are connected by the fibrous membranes the ligaments and the joints and moved by the muscles some cartilages are forming the synovial type of the joint and which are frequently movable so these are the cartilages of the larynx after a short break i will talk about the cartilages of the larynx one by one and then how these cartilages work with each other and how these produce the sound or the voice <laughs>